Hello, hey everybody. Hey y'all. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well and had a, a great weekend as we go into Sunday afternoon. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get a video out this weekend um, or this week. It's been quite a busy week. Um, just a bunch of moving pieces and parts, literally. Um, but this mama's heart is happy and I am happy to share with you some things that I did get a chance to make this week. Some things that I was working on last week. So yeah, let's dive into it. <laughs> like I said, I hope everyone has been doing well. Um, good to see you or get a chance to speak with you. Um, I did write some notes down over the week. Hold on. I got to go get them. Okay, I'm back. Um, I thought they were in the living room on my craft cart, but they were not. It was actually in here in my craft room. So I did write some notes down this week as I were I was going through my week and some things that I wanted to speak to you about when I did get a chance to do a video. It has been a very busy week, as I mentioned before. Now, <laughs> talking about my notes, um, writing down different things that I was going to speak with y'all about. Yeah. Oh, I actually, I put in here pattern, pattern tester. I saw where Mama Made Minis was reaching out for pattern testing for their snuggles. It's like they're lovies, but they're plush and they're like huggable snuggles. I want to do that. I hope they pick me. I very rarely um, pick to do pattern testing because I'm just afraid I'm not going to have the time to dedicate to that project like it should be. And But y'all know I love my lovies. Um, Mama made many lovies. are just adorable. I love making them. So I'm like, yes, I so would love to pattern test some of their huggable, snuggy lovies, lovables plushies that are there coming out and um I can't wait even if I don't get tested picked to be a tester I cannot wait till those patterns come out so that was on my notes but I wanted to talk about a lovey this little mouse lovey is it she just the sweetest little mouse so I made up a little mouse like this and I'll post a picture up and it sold in my craft fair, sold at my craft fair. And I gave the Angelina Ballerina book with the lovey, paired it up with that book. And so the one of the ladies that bought the Angelina Ballerina for her daughter, I think she's like 18. Well, she has, a, like, I think a little niece that wants one. And she told her daughter's like, won't you just give it to her? And her daughter's like, no, <laughs> she's mine. So she reached out to me and asked me if I could make another little Angelina ballerina, but do her in purple. And I'm like, sure, I can do that. And so this is a lovey from Mommy Ma Mama Made Minis. And she's not from their book. She is from their Mini Lovies pattern on Etsy. And I believe it's called Maeve, Maeve, Maeve the Mouse. And I know I got, I finished it maybe last week and I need to contact her and let her know, hey, I have your little mouse ready, but I wanted to do a video and show her because with the Angelina Ballerina that I showed with the pink dress and the hair bow, several have asked me, um, how did I do that? And I said, well, this would be a perfect, now that I have the, the physical um, lovey in my hand, I can, what am I looking for? Oh, the Etsy shop. <laughs> okay, so let me see. I think it's maybe the mouse. It's their mini lovey pattern on Etsy. But she wanted the purple one. And these make up super quick, so much fun to make. 
So, and with her, I did not use the Burnett Blanket yarn. I used Premier Parfait Chunky and the Adora Ball from Hobby Lobby in the color Flannel. But this is called um, Adora Ball and it's very similar to Premier Parfait Chunky, but it's a little bit thicker of a yarn than Premier Parfait Chunky. I think it's kind of like the structure is almost like a blanket yarn, but not quite as thick as a blanket yarn. And actually when I pulled it from my shelf, I actually thought it was Premier Parfait Chunky. And I started working it up. I'm like, this feels a little thick, um, especially when I'm trying to tie the knot in the legs. And, I'm, and I looked and it was actually a doorball from Hobby Lobby, which worked up fine. I mean, and I also used a, 4.5 millimeter hook on the head and a five millimeter on the body and the dress and the ears and everything else. So if you was to make this out of like a burnet blanket yarn or a thicker blanket yarn, I think the pattern calls for a seven millimeter on the head and an eight millimeter for the body. But since I'm using a smaller, Y'all, yeah, I have patterns in my Etsy shop. I'm thinking, I, I, I need to make that. That is so cute. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So much to do, so little time. Also, I'm going to show y'all the books I got for Christmas. I haven't done that video yet. So I'm running behind. I, I, I wanted to show y'all some more makes that I did. Oh, here it is. Um... Mini Maeve mouse pattern from Etsy from Mama Made Minis. That's where, can you see? That's where this pattern came from. It did not come from the book. I don't, I don't think they have a mouse pattern in their book. I don't think so. But anyway, so back to this little lovey. Kind of tell you what I did um, to make the dress. So when you start on the neck, um, I don't want to give too much of the pattern away, but it looks like on the close to the second round of the neck, I started crocheting with the purple and took it down probably about six, five or six rounds. And then I did the back loop crochet. So, and then I finished, I did back loop crochet on one round. Well, I actually did it on two rounds because I wasn't sure how far I would want to attach the skirt. So even if it did make a little bump up top or on bottom, you see where my back loops, see right here that bump, that's from crocheting in the back loop on that next stitch. But I also can take, if I want to do some tool to make a tool tutu, I could, I could loop it underneath those loops too. So I wasn't sure when I started that back loop crochet. So probably, let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like it was about the sixth round of the body. I did a back loop crochet that left those front loops um, available for the tutu. But I also did on the seventh, like I said, I wasn't sure which loop I was gonna put the tutu in. And I carried the purple on down to probably the first round of the legs. Yeah, see, it's got the purple. So it gives her like a, it looks like she has on little bloomers. And then I switched it back to the gray and finished off the pattern. And then I went back in just with the yarn and the needle and I gave, I just kind of finished up the collar, gave her some um, straps for her little dress and came through the back. And then I just pulled it up, tied it off and clipped it. And so for the headband, I took just the yarn. I didn't do a single crochet or anything like that. I just made a bow, tied a bow, and then brought the two ends of the yarn through and I'm sure I pulled it up through here somewhere, tied a knot, cut it off and tucked it back in. And then I went in and just tacked these little bows down so it would, so it wouldn't be so floppy 
on our head or so loose on our head. Now, then I went back through and I just added the tail up underneath the skirt. So I thought it turned out adorable. It's really easy to give your little mouse lovey a dress. Um, but I would recommend just do a couple of front loops. I mean, back loop crochets. And I think I did it on the sixth round. And then I was able to go in and pick up those that loop in the back, that front loop that you can see after you do the back loop. Go back after I finished the body and I laid her this, I think I did it this way. She was upside down. I just connected my yarn. I pulled it through to the slip stitch chain one. Go back in and do single crochets all the way around. And then I did, looks like a half double crochet all the way around. And on the last half double crochet, I did an increase. I'm not sure if I did, um, so it looks like I did an increase in every other stitch to kind of give her that little flare. But you can do it however you want to make her little skirt. I would start off by doing a single crochet all the way around to give you a base to build that skirt. And then you can make it however you would like, fluffy, flowy. Um, you actually don't have to crochet a skirt. You can take some tool and cut up pieces and attach to, the, oops, sorry for shaking the table, <laughs> attach to that front loop crochet. But I thought she was adorable. Now I can contact the sweet lady and say, your little mouse is ready. And y'all, I know I've talked about this before. Anytime I make something, especially an arm or a leg, and I pick it back up, one's going to be bigger than the other. Um, I don't know. Does one of her arms look bigger than the other? <laughs> it is, but I'm not redoing it. I think she's adorable. She needs those long limbs to be a ballerina. I thought she was cute. So this is one of the things I wanted to share with y'all was the Angelina Ballerina and how I attached her dress. Um, go ahead and do a screenshot if you like. Kind of give you an idea of what she looks like. And like I said, you can always do this a little bit shorter and then come in on the second front loop if you did a back loop stitch on the second or the seventh row, put you some tool under it. Make, just make her however you want to make her. But I thought she was adorable. I enjoy making loveys. I am so ready to make more for market. Um, these little mini ones sell really well. You can also do this to pair with, if you give a mouse, give a, mouse a cookie, um, you can do the same thing without a skirt and just make him some blue overalls. I would start and then exact, I would do exactly the same thing. Cause I did do, um, if you give a mouse a cookie mouse, paired it with the book for, and gave the book with the book. I mean, gave the book with the mouse and um, he looks so cute. And I'll post a picture of that too. So I would do the same thing for that. If you wanted to um, do some little blue overalls start i think it's the second stitch the second body stitch and just carry it on down to that first round of the legs and give him some little overalls but i just wanted to share that with y'all right quick because she's about to go to her forever home and i cannot wait to give it to her to give to her niece um so much fun this week crochet and different things and but yeah um I do have other things I would like to share with y'all but I think I will do that in another video like I said life's been busy and um just not gonna spend a whole lot of time today because I do want to get this edited and give out to y'all anyway I am rambling and 
hope y'all have a good week. I know we're coming into a work week for the ones that have the weekends off. I know some jobs, um, it's like, what's weekend, right? But I've enjoyed hanging out with you. I hope everyone is doing well. And did I even introduce myself? My name is Marcia with Mimi Makes Keepsakes. And thank you to all of my subscribers and my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for all the comments. I enjoy hearing from you. I know it takes it takes time to stop and to say hey or make a comment and I appreciate that so much. And I try to reply to each and every one of you as personally as I can. Um, I'm gonna share something with y'all. I am a little bit dyslexic. So writing, texting, <laughs> It's painful sometimes, but I have an app called Grammarly, but I enjoy corresponding back and forth with you so, so much. I don't enjoy the writing so much, but I enjoy the collaboration. So thank you for your comments. Please continue to comment, um, like, and subscribe and all that good stuff. So, all right. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your week and have a great rest of your day, night, morning, whenever you may be watching this. Bye, y'all.